people sometimes ask me when I felt like I made it in TV. I felt like I made it in TV the day that I stepped foot into the Come on, keep it down, keep it down. Can I, I mean, I gotta do Harvey's weapons business This is really a trip. Uh, it's kind of like being at your own funeral, but fuck. Thank you, John Mayer. Uh, you're a dream. You are a dream. A truer friend does not exist. Really. Uh, thank you, Lisa and Garcelle, for being here. Uh, and all the Real Housewives, near and far. Uh, each of you is a star, and being in your orbit is the greatest soap opera cosplay a guy could ask for. 
Uh, and without you ladies, I wouldn't be on the Boulevard of Dreams today. Speaking of dreams, when I was little, I did nothing but eat, sleep, and dream of TV. I Love Lucy, The Brady Bunch, Mary Tyler Moore, Carol Burnett, Donnie and Marie, The Love Boat, Dynasty, All My Children. I lived for TV. As a kid in St. Louis, whose family all worked in the food business, shout out to my parents, my sister, uh, I'm not sure I was adventurous enough to picture myself actually having a career in television, and I was not yet vain enough to think that I could actually be on TV. Well, I grew up and I became adventurous, and what they uh, People sometimes ask me when I felt like I made it in TV. I felt like I made it in TV the day that I stepped foot in the studio Come on, keep it down, keep it down. the day I stepped foot in the CBS Broadcast Center on West 57th Street in 1990 as a PA on the morning show. I couldn't believe I was making a whopping. I felt then the same as I do now, like working in TV is a privilege, a dream if you will. I want to thank my colleagues at Bravo, especially Francis Barrick, for your undying work, and Susan Rogner, who watches my show every night, and I mean like, mean something. Uh, I want to thank the gang at Watch What Happens Live, led by my friend and colleague Deirdre Connolly and Michael Davies, John Jude. The first time I came to Hollywood, I went in search of Vivian Vance's star. Um, I found her, and now we're part of the same kind of club, uh, which is dreamy. I'm so grateful to the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce for deeming me acceptable to live in posterity on this iconic stretch of Boulevard. Among stars as bright as Jack Benny and Red Skelton, who are right over here, and on a personal note, that I'm situated between RuPaul and the Go-Go's is so cool to me. I love RuPaul, I love the Go-Go's, the Go-Go's were like my second or third concert. Um, that gives me goosebumps. And to be right in front of my friends at World of Wonder, who've been colleagues for 20 years, amazing. This is all my honor and my privilege. And thank you so much, all of you. And thanks for coming out to my friends and family. And happy birthday, Ben! Happy birthday, Ben! It's your birthday. We got cookies waiting for you, man.